What's good, YouTube? This is your boy DIY Kari coming at you with another video. Today, we got a controversial shoe without a doubt, especially because a lot of people been complaining about them. But we're going to get into that when we get in the video. This is going to be an informational video. Everything in this video is my opinion only. And I emphasize my opinion only. So if y'all got any problems, hit the comments below. Let me know what y'all think about them. But let's hop right into the video. This shoe, like I said, is very controversial, especially the people that got them. But before we hop into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, because it's a lot of people watching my videos, but y'all not subscribing. So like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what y'all think about these videos. Let me know what you think about the channel. But this shoe right here is coming from the good people over at shoebar.ru. Shoe That's going to be their website, Instagram, and my discount code, Kari, to save yourself $15 off your entire purchase. So make sure y'all use that if y'all buy these shoes or something else on the site. Now straight to the shoe. As y'all see, perfect box. Like I said, these came from shoebar.ru. That is going to be the Air Jordan 4. It says military blue, but as y'all know, these are not called in military blues. They are actually called industry blues because they are based off the 1980s pair of the Retro 4. Off the bat, see that paper? They do, they do got the markers on the bottom, just, just so y'all see that. Like I said, these are based off the 1980s pair. That's why they are not the original from 2000. 14, I believe, 2000, 2012, 2012 release. That's why they are a totally different color. But to me, it's still a good shoe. It's just, I didn't see that 1980s pair, so I don't know what to expect from it. But I do have the ones from 2012, and I love those. Those are my favorite retro fours. Right off the bat, this is going to be a big thing. Can't really tell. But it has the Widow's Peak, which apparently that's normal on the 1980s pair or, or early 2000s also. Comes with paper inside. <laughs> Bottom, you see the Nike with the forefoot has the blue. As always, this does go down. Has the Nike Air and not the Jordan in the back. Hence the Nike Air tag. I honestly don't know, cause I didn't, I didn't cop. I actually forgot they were releasing. But I was fortunate enough to get the pair from TrueBar.ru. But a lot of people said their pairs were flawed. I cannot say the same because I didn't get them. I just, like I said, I forgot. But this pair, there's one thing significant that like stuck out like a sore thumb. And it's going to be right here like a glue spot it's not bad but like i said that stuck out of like a sore thumb other than that there is no glue lines anywhere on the shoe it's just that one little thing which i can probably clean i don't know i'm i'm gonna try but like i point out on every retro four 
if your shoe has more than two posts showing through the air bubble, send it back, take it back, return the sender because it should not have it if it is a size smaller than a 12. You shouldn't have it. Just send it back. Say you want your money back, do whatever, but don't keep those shoes because it should not have more than two posts showing anything smaller than a 12. 12 and 13 should only have three posts. That's just being honest. But this shoe, like I said, it's a lot of controversy with the name, with the release that happened with Nike, people were receiving pairs that were stained. Um, it just was so many issues with them. But this pair is flawless, other than that one thing I pointed out. It has the air joiner under the tongue like it's supposed to, up, upside down air joiner. Got a joiner on the tongue right there with flight. The net netting is perfect. Front too. <laughs> see if y'all can see the size. Size 10. Go ahead and show the other shoe. Let me both shoes together. All the stars are there. And these do fit true to size. No complaints there. There's no bulging, no nothing. Ooh, that's different. I don't even know if that's gonna show up. No, it's not showing up on camera. But there is a little difference between the leathers. Hmm. I didn't notice that before. Not a big deal, but yeah, there's little wrinkles in the leather on this one. <laughs> no smell. This one has no glue lines either. So other than the little spot on this one and the little wrinkle on this one, like, you can see it a little bit, but there's a little wrinkle on there. There's no other flaws other than that. Those two things. All in all, they did do a good job on these, especially hearing what happened with the release. I'll take these pair any day. Just being honest. So y'all missed on a release or y'all got a bad pair and don't want to buy them again. Here you go. There's no paintbrush um, lines, no nothing. So you ain't got nothing to worry about there. You ain't got no odor smell, no glue lines. Let me show y'all the insole real quick before we get up out of here. Another one with Dream Cell. Like I said, best insole ever should be in every single shoe. They need to make that happen. Every single shoe should have dream so even retro ones. But all in all, like I'm honestly not disappointed in these, like especially hearing what happened with the release. I actually like these. Actually happy to have them. They do fit true to size. So you can buy your size if you buy whatever size. Like, like I said, these are size 10. They fit perfectly, no problem, no issues. But that is going to be the industry blue slash militaries. Y'all want to call them that? I'm not calling them that. 
Retro Force. If you got any questions, if you got any comments, hit the comments below. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know if y'all got them retail and if y'all had bad pairs. I just want to know questions, answers. Definitely got answers if y'all need them. But I want all the comments flooded. Let me know what y'all got going on. Let me know what y'all thinking. It's your boy DIY Kari signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Come back because I got more on the way. Peace.